No, I wasn't in Jack. Jack, you know, as a kid growing up in Florida, my all-time great Gator team was at 1969 Florida Gators. You were a part of that game, and any of those of us who were fortunate enough to watch, see those guys play and to remember those guys uh, as a team know that there was just a special magical quality about the 1969 Gators. Can, can you share what was it that made that, that group of guys so special? Well, I think, I think what made us real special was, was those, those super soft. They, they came on, on to the, onto the stage and, and performed all year long. We were, we were we were pretty special, uh, and I think that it, creating that kind of excitement around the football team, we, we'd been we'd been ordinary for, for so many years. We hadn't we hadn't didn't really addressed the the uh, the championship, the SEC championship. It was before the two divisions, and, and we we'd been second, third, you know, several times. So when when there was finally something there. And that for, for people to grab a hold to and to and, to, and have hope for, I think that really started the, the movement of uh, uh, developing the the entire program into something that's real special. And undergirded with a great group of, of right, veterans and, we had, and we had senior players at the same time, and, 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 and that's what you have like to you. do. You've got to have players so that you can you can continue that on a, on a yearly basis. Now. Back to 69, of course, that the last game that the 69 Gators ever played in, one of the things that makes that season so special was a huge upset over Tennessee in the Gator Bowl, 14 to 13. Mm -hmm. And that what you were a, a key part of that game, a key part of the victory, your outstanding play at defensive end. Can you share your memories of the, of the 69 Gator Bowl, 14 to 13 win over Tennessee? One of the things that uh, that, that I can remember was, was grabbing the quarterback, Bobby... Help me with Bobby Scott. Bobby Scott. Bobby Scott. Gavin Bobby Scott came around the corner, grabbed him, just reached out and grabbed him in the middle of his chest and grabbed that jersey. And all I got was the number. <laughs> all I did was knock him backwards and rip that jersey off of him. And, and I'm standing there going, oh my goodness, <laughs> how, did, how did I miss that? They had those tearaway jerseys that, that eventually became. became uh, outlawed in, in, in C2A, but you know they, you can remember that kind of, those those kind of plays. It was yeah, that was our one of our, our first bowl game. I mean that was that was something to be to be really proud of. Right. Jack, appreciate you spending some time with us and talking old school. We got one more question before you go. Now I saw you speak at a chamber of commerce some years ago. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we've heard from Barry Smith and Ron Sellers and the other Knowles about the great coaching staff the Knowles had back in, in the day. And right. one of those guys was a guy named Bill Parcells. And uh, yeah, he actually was assigned to recruit you coming out of Monticello High School. Monticello, uh, can you tell us about his evaluation of, of the young Jack Youngblood? Bill was very instrumental in, in the success of Jack Youngblood. <laughs> from the standpoint, from a, actually from a negative standpoint. And I mean that's that's a long story too. But, but Bill came over and looked at the, the little Monticello football team. We won the championship that year, and, and he went back and, and he told Coach uh, uh, that Brent. No, he told Brent Brent Hall. He said, he said I can't, I can't play. and he went back and told Coach Peterson. He said, Yeah, the, the quarterback can play. The the, the tight end can play. There, there's an offensive guard who's running back. And then Coach Peterson asked him, well, what about the big, tall kid with the big ears? And he said, that kid can never play. He'll never play college football. The day we won the championship, the night we won the championship, Coach, Coach Dave Fuller, the baseball coach for the University of Florida, grabbed me by the arm after, the, after we won the championship and said, son, how would you like to play football for the University of Florida? I said, let me think about it. Yes, sir. <laughs> it took me that so, long. So, so the Gators have Bill Parcells parsley. Bill that, Parcells that, that was, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jack, it's been great. Thank you. Thank you, Thank uh, you. for joining us on Talking Old School. Absolutely. My pleasure. Good stuff.